Now, if we go to the segments, we can see that there are no segments yet. Uh, so we're going to create uh, some segments. Now, what are segments? They they are sort of a filter of your database. So you can make as many segments and sub-segments sub as you want. Um, they just serve as a sort of filter of your database so that you can send out emails more specified to certain groups or certain contacts. Now it's uh, it's very simple to create a segment. Just go to contact segments and create a segment. Now we're going to give it a, a name and let's say we want all the contacts with the interest label shoes um, in this segment. Uh, as we can see, we have the interest label in our Excel file, and some people have the value shoes um, in their contact field because this is an existing interest label. Let's call it shoes. Now, the trigger this is what is going to be the trigger um, of, of your segment. This can be a contact field such as language, uh, name, email address, uh, this can be a source. Uh, in this case all contacts have the source flexmail uh, it can be an interest label which we are going to use now a preference an opt-in form which is very interesting and a campaign now we're going to work with the interest label and we're going to select all people with the, f with the value shoes uh, in it the function it can stay on is member of I'm going to save it and now we have a segment with eight contacts because there are eight contacts with the value shoes uh, in their interest label field. Now let's say we want to edit this because uh, we also want uh, to add other interest labels. You can just click on the gear wheel, edit segment. And with the plus icon you can add triggers, which is very nice. So let's say we want to add another interest label and we want to add the interest label accessories. Just select it. And now we see that there are only two contacts um, in this segment if we save it. That's because the trigger here are both the interest labels, shoes and accessories and the operator is set to end. That means that every contact who is in the segment needs to have the interest label shoes and accessories so one of them is not enough they need to have them both if we change the operator to or you see that we have 12 contacts after segmentation that means that the the contacts active in this segmentation can have one of uh, one of the two interest labels so if you have shoes or accessories it doesn't matter one of the two is enough to be an active contact of this segment um, so you would have 12 contacts if you save this. You can also say is no member of, but in this case it would be the same because the operator is set to or. If we change it to and, we only have six uh, contacts left. Now I'm going to keep it on uh, this member of and the operator on or. I'm going to save it. Now we have 12 contacts in the interest label. We can do the same thing with uh, with the preferences. Um, let's see, we have contests, events and newsletter. Say we want the events. The trigger now will be preferences instead of interest label because you're going to work with a preference. We want all the, the contacts with the preference events. You see that there are only seven and we're going to save it. Now the nice thing is, um, you can create uh, preferences with interest labels, with contact fields, with sources, um, so we're going to do that. I'm just going to name it combo because we're going to make a combination, um, so the trigger needs to be interest label. Let's say we want the contacts with the interest label clothing active and they need to have the preference um, let's say contest. You can see there is only one contact um, with these values. If you click on show contact we can see it. It would be Rita Reed 60 at flexible.pe. 
difficult to look at this contact. You can indeed see that she has the clothing interest label and the contest preference.